everyone, Mandy from Grammar Eye Creative Arts. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you are all well. Today I am working on my uh, travel journal for Vietnam and I've had a couple of ideas and I'm not sure what I'm actually going to go with. I've been, I started off this morning on the computer and and it's now kind of almost dinner time so <laughs> I've been playing around in Photoshop. I've got a couple of ideas. These little, uh, I think they're receipt holders from Specsavers, my optometrist, and I thought they were pretty cute to to copy to make a little tuck spot, or I could even cover those if I wanted to. So that's an idea. Whether I do it today or not, I'm not sure. Another idea I've got is I've got this massive big envelope way too big as you can see but I thought now wouldn't that make a fantastic uh, pocket at the front because it's got this really big uh, window and whenever I have a go on, on holidays my tickets and everything always go in a pocket at the front so I was thinking of using that but then I was looking at what came inside it this the plastic and it's i mean it's no it's, it's like a pocket but it's got it's three pockets there and that made me think what if i actually used this to sew on not sew around because i don't actually want a whole envelope just around the, the first signature I, I, I don't want that there so I thought oh well because I can tell you at the end of my holiday I've always got stuff that I've collected and ends up in a pocket at the back and then that so will then oh, come over here and that will go in there so and the, I mean the envelopes what is way too big but you know there's plenty of room to play so I'm thinking that that could be a fun idea. And then even more funner, is that a word? Well, it is now because I just used it. I'll show you what I've been doing, what I have whittled away the hours with today. So I, there's, there's lots of Asian stuff, digitals and, you know, scrapbook stuff that you can actually buy. But everything is either Chinese or Japanese and I'm going oh, I want Vietnamese and so and having been there I know that they you know they still have a big Chinese influence and you know there's always there's big bonsais in the street so I've kind of made myself a bit of a kit I'm not sure whether I don't think anyone would be interested but if you are tell me in the comments and um, I might um, consider popping it into my coffee shop but I've made an um, ephemera sheet to cut some little bits and pieces out and I've made these are, are fairly plain papers because I, I wanted more than than what I've got and what I've used here is what is stuff that I've already had printed out so I've got Oh, no, they're not double. Oh, I will print them double-sided for when I'm going to use them. But I just printed one of everything out so everyone can see. So I've got uh, one, two. I'm not sure oh. I understand. Siri, we're not talking to Siri, and that's why she doesn't understand. How silly, silly Siri. And uh, yep, and we've got. Uh, this one, a little bit of just a, a bit of a cluster because I know that it, that will go there and that will go around there. More of a, a plain one that I could write on. And again, and then these are my faux tea dye coffee dyed, but they've, oh, if I bring it right up, you can see it's got like the symbols for happiness and stuff that a lot of the, when China had invaded Vietnam, there's still a lot of, of the Chinese happiness symbols everywhere. That's just a bit of, just a, it's just got that uh, Vietnamese style paper and woodblock printing 
and I've overlaid it on the on the tea dyed coffee dyed digital and then that one and then of course I will need lots of tags so I've got some nice and I've made big ones see because that will it's still smaller than my page oh, no, let's put that over there and this here so I've got one two th three so there's three different sizes on the page another one here all coordinates because I've used the same papers in all of the papers as well and then just on three of them I've actually done a bit of digital collage um, there and I also have a, a plain back if I want to I can um, put that on the back so that I can write on it and then we have some smaller ones four to a page so I've got oops, four eight and then four with the uh, digital collages and then four backs so what am i going to play with today so i'm thinking that i need to i have actually printed some double-sided so let's have a look where are you So I need to trim the, I don't know what's what's wrong with my printer. I told her it was borderless and it printed them all out with a border. Unbelievable. Anyway, anywho, not to worry. Okay, so they're all tags. So I've just got a few extra, because I just need a few extra pieces of, of uh, paper. So I'm just going to trim the edges off. I was really pleased with this one. I actually made the made the little masks with a paintbrush in, in a photo shop and then overlaid them all. Oops. You can just get lost for hours. It's just, it's like it's like Alice's rabbit hole. Oops, that wasn't very good. And I should be looking at the other side to make sure. Oh, oh that one needs more. That's the other thing, it doesn't print straight. Uh, I never know what the borders are going to be there. It's not even even borders. It's silly, silly, silly. How's your Saturday been going? I hope going well. And it's quite warm here in Adelaide today. It's going to be warmer again tomorrow. And but not humid, so it's all good. So exciting news. On Thursday, I went for a job interview and I got myself a part-time job. So it's all very exciting. I start in a couple of weeks because the manager's off on a conference next week, so it won't be sorted out until she gets back. Just a few shifts, nothing... Not full time. I wouldn't be able to do full time because then I wouldn't be able to craft. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to have a drink. I have got the aircon on, but it's very hot. I think I need to turn the temperature down. I try not to have it too cold because otherwise you, you end up getting a cold. Right, so I've got three of my new papers. And let's find, I really love this one, loving, loving it. <laughs> right, so I think this one is, this could have one in the middle. And we could, oh, I didn't even check because they're probably... They are wider. That's all right. It can come in. I'll make it shorter that way so that I don't. There we go. And then there's my little page we did the other day. And that's also becomes. Oh, maybe I'll do it the other way around. 
No, I didn't miss the... Do we want a pocket in this? might have that as the middle so that'll be the outside and then I want to cut that or just I usually I fold them to start with because then I can always uh, trim them off afterwards I've got more than enough pages so let's have a little flip through so I've, I've done no embellishing or anything yet uh, I think I said I, I, I don't tend to embellish very much I, I do it while I'm away so I've tried to go digital I haven't got any book paper or in there it's harder to write on when you're traveling so um, oh yes I found a second piece of this so I thought that could be a page extension that I've just poked it over there I must have had it for it was already folded like that so I've just poked it over there so that I can put that on yeah. Bit there. and then our new one yeah. pretty cute can see the digital tea dye and my tea dye or coffee dye very similar nice and oh yes I found a second piece of this one as well so I did the same thing I've just poked it there to see how we go so that's the first signature so this is this is supposed to be a pocket like that and I thought oh well if I open it out and I've lined it with book paper so I've put it around not sure whether I'll actually make a pocket or and I'll do that when I'm working in the journal so I'll leave that open so it can become a pocket or I can put uh, photos and stuff on there but isn't it lovely I can't even remember where I got that from There's a lot of this woodblock printing uh, on on handmade papers over there. Actually, might try and get some while I'm there, and I can use it. Yes, that'll be nice there. And my little. So that's the only book page I've got, or like inside the pocket there, I've lined it. This one, and the other thing I could, I can actually do is I can get a piece of pattern paper or something and put it on there and actually make the pocket. So that's another idea as well. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. So this is very little one there. I'll probably take that off. We've got two together. Okay. 
that. Yes, look, I can put this one can go in here. There we are. Yep, nice. Okay, so there's a real lot of writing space in that one. Lots and lots and lots. So my idea, I was thinking that, I mean, this needs to be trimmed down. So I might trim it there. No, if it'll even fit in the trimmer. No, nope, it won't, but that's okay, because we need to cut some off anyway. And obviously I'm going to cover this. So have that. Have our... No, oh, i just use this kind of... So it'll be there. In there and there, so that's where I need to trim it. shorter because it's going to be a pocket so I might just I'll just trim it to where my husband ripped it open so. That'll be, so it'll be a bit shorter but that'll be okay for sewing right, let's We'll see what it looks like. It might not be right. And then this bit needs to come over here. Is that even? Is that even? I'll measure before I give it too much of a crease. go over anyway don't want the uh, window in I'll, I'll have to look I'll, I want that at the top because I want the window on the outside so we'll seal it up and it's not that much shorter so that's okay put um, something else on there because that wouldn't be strong enough and we'll put some fabric down there I need to take off these end papers I might I'm not sure if I'll put them over the top or hmm okay so first of all Perfect. Uh, that's oh, it's a bit long. My uh, my pocket. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to trim them to fit because I'll I'll cover them. The back one I'll probably just cover with one sheet of paper all the way over, and um, we'll go like that and come around and then do a bit of collage. So let's see, we need to make this 15.3, five and a quarter exactly. All right, let's just measure pencil. Oh, and she drops a pen, five and a quarter. 
bit. Not even cut straight. Okay. Right. So my job is at uh, that spotlight um, near where I live. And it's where my daughter works and it's where I do craft demonstrations and have done for about 10 years. So my interview uh, was not like a normal interview at all. I wasn't, I wasn't nervous or anything either. So I just, uh, it's fun. Oh, so I can, some of these papers that I've just printed out that are, because these are all single sided. Let's choose one. And have I use them all? I think I I think I used all of them, but it doesn't matter because Vietnam is about repeating patterns, so I'm going to so I'm going to stick with the blues here. Yeah. Usually everything's pink and green, but today going with the blues uh yes so my interview and i mean i know the manager i've i've been passed from manager to manager depending on the uh, you know when they start and finish and uh so i've been doing for over 10 years i've been doing demonstrations so they're in the sewing department so i i sent my resume along and said you know, I'd be really interested in picking up some shifts in the sew centre so she got me to come in and uh, one cut uh, got me to come in and uh, we had a chat and then she was she said oh how will you go with your knees oh come on why aren't you coming and uh, and then talking about her knees because she, her knees need uh, she needs a knee replacement and so oh, what's it like so I think we talked more about knees than we did about uh, the job and my past work, his, work history and <laughs> oh dear yeah, then when I finished and uh, I went out and I found the the so centre uh, team leader and I walked up behind her and I said hi boss and she said, oh, hi, she goes, have you talked to Tanya yet? And I went, I've just come out from talking. I'll start in a couple of weeks. And she's like jumping up and down, yes, yes. Because every time I do a demonstration, she goes, I really need you to work here. You have so much sewing knowledge. So <laughs> Give me a bit of extra money for, and that's, oh, see, that's because my printer, but that's okay, I can cut this a bit shorter. I'll just be open down that one. Let's just give it a trim. Make it fit. There we go. I don't usually get that trimmer out because it's so big and heavy and all of that sort of thing, but um, it's quite good for uh, the just A to GSM paper. So if I go in, I'll go in so that this gets covered so it's not white. So let's start, put this here and then that will go around. So we need some other stuff for here. Okay, scraps. I've actually got scraps over here which I can there we go. There's some scraps I prepared earlier. Who's that from Cherish Horse Graphics? Hmm. The cherry blossom kiss. Of course uh, it's uh, Chinese New Year today. So Chukmung Namoi everyone obviously means happy new year my 
I, I spoke to my brother on Thursday night and uh, he's, they, they leave for Tet because it's, uh, he's so over the top. And uh, as he, I said, ah, oh, chuk mung namoi. He goes, ah, oh, chuk mung namoi. Ah, oh, very good pronunciation. <laughs> I said, I had a good teacher. Uh, and I was at the uh, Asian grocer yesterday just to get some pork belly on the way home from Watercolour. And the our Asian grocers, they're very... Um, uh, reserved when if you're not uh, Asian and uh, we're waiting at the at the butcher part and and she's on her phone and she's stony faced and uh, and then um, as she packed up and gave it to me and is that all I said no thank you that's all and I said oh chuk mun namoi and her face just like lit up and she go ah oh, chuk mun namoi and she just go oh thank you thank you because and I thought yeah she'll remember that she'll remember me next time she won't be uh, so grumpy and oh, look at that blue that's because it's so hot it's just so soft yes She'll remember, she'll remember the silly white woman who can say Happy New Year in Vietnamese. But made her happy, so that's all that matters. Okay, and I should have gone around there. Oh, that probably can come off. No, it can't. Not. Okay, we'll get something else to go around there. We'll... Do we want to go um, that way? I'll come in just a bit because I'm not going to worry about trying to round the corners. If I go like that and then I can put something across the bottom. There we go. And then at the same, I did the same at the uh, checkout. And uh, she's a li little bit better, the lady at the checkout. but still they still look at you like why are you why have you come in here to this asian grocer you're not vietnamese right I'll line this up at the top in a little bit over there around and then that will close that oh where are we going to leave it open and put it in oh yes mandy your wally we do need to leave it open and maybe we'll maybe i'll have that on the inside and then that will, and then my that'll be my opening at the top okay we can do that I'm just being mindful of that glue it's going to go everywhere because oh. it just will. That's good because that will come over in here. Okay. And that will come over in there. And there's more glue. So let's get this other side sorted. Um, could have that. I'd rather have something all the way to the top so I don't have to. Well, let's do this one. And I've got that lovely woodblock pattern. Yep, that's what we'll do. Let's glue. Let's glue, I say. 
course, having the job means that I won't be able to do my Tuesday volunteering. Uh, but that's okay. But volunteering, unfortunately, doesn't pay the bills. And with everything going up, that's one of the reasons I needed to find something. They just, everyone just wear, you just wear black, so we just went to Kmart today and grabbed some black t-shirts. and this will meet up. Right, yes it will. And I'm going to have this one under. Under there. And that one over the top, which means I can just tear off a little bit of that to um, use elsewhere. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. Five and a quarter. There we go. And then I can just, uh, when it's all dried, I can come in and and uh, and score it. That's good. All good. Slightly short at the on the opening there, but I can just give that another trim, a little slither. Oops. Okay. Or I really kind of really want the pocket on the outside. Hmm. Hmm. She says with a great deal of non-confidence. Um, but if I have it on the... Oops, excuse me. Okay. If I do have it on the outside, I have to open that up. I, have to, I need to put something along the bottom. And I think it would look better if it was all one big strip. And this won't be... No, because it's longer than A4. So it won't be one long big oh washi tape doing of course oh, sorry sausage let's get the washi tape i always take a couple of washi tapes with me but uh because they're always very handy handy dandy for this type of thing something asian inspired That's Chinese writing though. Although you see a lot of Chinese stuff over there. That could work. What else have we got? I don't have much in the blues because I don't usually use blue. Hmm. Oh, what about this one? Oh. oh look at that. It's not wide enough. 
But this one is perfect. Oh my gosh. Too many, too many washi tapes. Not enough space. Oh, thought I was going to bang the camera then. But I didn't. Awesome. Right, well, this will be good. Let's find the end. Oh, yes, that'll be awesome. Right, let's line this up. We've even got a line there to help line it up. Actually, don't mind that. That looks fine. Let it drip before we fold it over. Oh, that looks pretty. It's just that tiny little bit of gold. Okay, that's feeling filly. Uh, I'm going to get my scoreboard out. Score this, what did it say? Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Do it because it's so thick, and we've just added that paper on there. Plus, the, en the envelope was already thick anyway. All right, that's good. That yes, that is good. Open the top of our pocket and I might, um, yeah, I'm just going to use my ruler and a knife because this needs to be a sliver and you've had enough clunking for one day. Put a little thumb notch. It's um, a big one. I'm going to do it on both because it's. Uh, where's the centre? Roughly there. Oh, got you. Goodness. Need my wheat bix and same on here now where's our center roughly i can hear birds and i reckon there might be oh excuse me might be birds in the roof okay let's see how we're looking so i shall mark through there but i'll also I'll still put, oh look, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to have it flush with the bottom because it's going to be a big pocket. I'll still have another, you know, a bit of fabric to go there. That's going to sit in there. 
Ish. Oh my gosh. That's going to be so awesome. Oh yes. Oh, very cute. Right. Okay, well, I am going to stop here. And because, um, yes, it's quarter to seven and my husband and daughter are going to come out and ask for dinner in a minute. <laughs> I shouldn't have come out here and put the video on, but I was so excited with my digitals. I had had so much fun today making them. I might even put a, a little... I mean, oh, even though you won't see it once I put all my tickets and things in, it doesn't matter. Right, so I would just like to say thank you, everyone. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel because that helps me to bring you more videos and more crafty goodness. So you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Toodles.